Hello, all you positive heads out there. Thanks for tuning your beautiful brainwaves into another episode of the Positive Head Podcast, where we are firmly convinced that creating success and happiness is rooted in understanding the ultimate nature of reality and the fact that as human beings, we are all immensely powerful fractals of the one and only source consciousness, which creates and animates all things. Now, of course, understanding this powerful truth is one thing. Applying this incredibly empowering wisdom to everyday life? Well, that's another. Which is exactly why we provide you with a fresh serving of soul food for thought five days a week to help constantly remind you of what matters most. You are it. And I'm your host, Brandon Beecham. I'm the reflection and extension of you who will be here each Wednesday interviewing a different consciousness change maker. And on the other four weekdays, leading the way to ensure that your perspective is consistently expanded, your vibration is constantly elevated, and your heart is overflowing and full. Also, this episode of the Positive Head Podcast is being brought to you thanks to the support of Gaia. If you're not familiar, Gaia is the go-to source for streaming consciousness content online, and you can sign up for your first month for only 99 cents at gaia.com forward slash positive head. That's spelled G-A-I-A dot com forward slash positive head. Check it out. All right, all you positive heads, welcome, welcome, welcome to the show. So happy to be here with you guys again, as always, and always. Today, we are going to dive into the topic of manifestation. Yes, it's true. We are pulling into the manifestation station. All aboard. Here we go. Hold on. Getting ahead of myself. Before I get to, before the train leaves the station, I would like to take a moment and read a review on iTunes. You guys know I love my iTunes reviews. Not only do they help us to reach new people, but uh, they also fuel my fire and help yeah, keep me motivated with this labor of love that is this wonderful show. And this particular review came in from I Am My Own Goddess. And here's what the goddess herself had to say. This podcast is bringing it all together for me. Brandon and his crew are putting out wonderful content that never falters. I am so happy to have stumbled upon your interviews and recently caught their interview of Brandon over at Psychic Teachers this summer and subscribed immediately after. This all happening after a tragic death of a soul family member. I started digging deeper for answers for peace, for a way to honor my inner yearnings for a purposeful and contented life. Things have been going very well on my journey with abundant synchronicity to confirm. I've been trying to find the right words to express my gratitude for the work being put into this podcast. Recently, I've been feeling a huge divide between my partner and I over how we view the world. But then I started seeing we were both talking about the same concerns from different perspectives and using different language. I played him the interview with Laura Eisenhower, and it brought both of our perspectives into alignment. We are now having an open conversation about how to move forward with our business to better serve our community and planet, how to prepare and care for our family during this time, and how to raise our consciousness together. I thought I was pretty alone in this, but my dreams in real life are synthesizing rapidly, and this podcast is playing a huge role in that. Nowhere else have I found such a neutral, easy to recommend, and positive source of juicy soul food for thought. Oh, that is such a juicy review. Thank you. I am my own goddess for taking the time to review, and for those of you out there who haven't uh reviewed yet on iTunes. I would certainly love you if you do. I'll love you if you don't as well. Um, And of course, uh, you can write in uh, questions as well. I love getting questions from you guys. Actually, uh, today's topic spawned from um, one of the listeners reaching out, uh, as I'll touch on in a moment. But yeah, you can write through Brandon at PositiveHead.com. Also, the Facebook group, Positive Heads with an S. A wonderful group of soul family. Speaking of soul family, uh, listeners, 
connecting, sharing, supporting, uh, opening up to one another with questions. The, the group's private so that you can, you know, get vulnerable if you feel uh, inclined to do so. And uh, just a wonderful, wonderful, ever-growing group there on Facebook. So uh, would encourage you to join up there as well. What a wonderful thing to hear, though, from uh, this, re- you know, in this review, how feeling like her partner uh, and her were out of alignment, but then it starts coming together. And that's the thing about relationships. It's like, Speaking of trains, it's like a moving train. We get on together at one point. Sometimes our paths start to diverge. Sometimes they diverge for a while and they come back together and everything in between. So the the beautiful thing about any of it is just relaxing into it, relaxing, um, you know, being joyful no matter what, knowing that, hey, if it's not this, it's something even better. And that's a, a big one for me. You know, anything I've ever been exploring um, you know, job wise, romantic wise, um, you know, creative endeavor wise, if it doesn't pan out, it's like, oh, OK, well, there's something even better waiting for me. And by bringing that energy to it instead of disappointment, it's like, all right, on to the next. Like, mm, what 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 else is hiding? You make it like a, a game of hide and seek with uh, your higher self, with the universe. And it's such a fun way to approach manifesting and calling in what you want to see, you know, in your life, doing it all with a healthy sense of detachment is uh, definitely a part of the recipe for success when it comes to uh, manifestation. And like I said, that's what we're going to dive into today. So um, I, yeah, I want to I want to start by saying the key, once again, whatever it is you're seeking is being joyful in the absence of it. And actually, this topic um, came because uh, French Fry, as he uh, is affectionately called, (laughs) uh, actually, who's been a listener for a long time, wrote in and said, oh, my gosh, every P-head needs to hear this. Every listener needs to hear this. And it's, of course, about a a manifestation. Uh, This clip that I'm going to play here in a few minutes uh, from Abraham. And at the end of it, she even says, Look, this is actually the best discussion on manifestation we've ever had. But before we dig in and hear uh, what Abraham has to say about it, um, I want to talk about it for a little bit. So, yeah, being joyful in the absence of it. You know what instantly comes to mind with that thought? So uh, I might have mentioned to you guys before. Uh, one of the entrepreneurial ventures I'm uh, involved with is a, a music app called Sesh. And one of my good friends, best friends, um, Stefan Jacobs, who's producer DJ, I've played, played tracks a few times. Um, I played one not too long ago where he collaborated with Antenne. You guys might have heard uh, in the last few weeks. But Stefan uh, started a uh, this app, uh, Sesh. And it is uh, basically like Airbnb for all things music. You can you know connect with uh, studios, you know, rent studios, gear, talent, anything music related. Brilliant idea. And uh, from inception, I've uh, been a partner on the app as an advisor, uh, having kind of been down the road of building a sizable business before and Stefan had not, you know, I stepped into that role. And as we went down the path of, you know, raising the money and helping with that and, you know, building it and getting version 1.0 launched months back and it starting to grow, um, running into snags, running running into issues, running into, you know, to do, especially something tech related, very, a lot, a lot of money uh, is required. And uh, that was one of the obstacles and just, you know, obstacles, obstacles kept popping up. And, you know, he started getting discouraged, which I was like, look, this is the rite of passage to everyone who makes it anywhere. Your job is to be joyful now, be joyful in the absence of it, be be okay with the goal, with the, with the, with the ride. And by the way, losing that expectation, if it did not completely pan out the way we envisioned, the way he envisioned, um, That's okay too. Find you're in it here, you know, months back, especially really going through some, some tough moments with it, you know, be present, be aware, be present, you know, and as soon as he has, uh, the idea to sort of throw in the towel, um, like happens so often. I was like, watch so many times the plane swoops down and it starts to land on the, the water, you know, on the, it's running out of gas or whatever. It's the engine has failed. It's swooping down. It's going to crash. And then all of a sudden it'll take back off. And that's the exact type of thing that's happened. Now we, you know, are working with someone uh, associated with Sony who wants to start using the platform, which is huge. I just had a meeting a couple days ago um, with 
uh, Dr. Dre's son, uh, Curtis. And it was really surreal because sitting down with him, well, first off, they're like spitting image, like, you know, uh, like twins. He looks so much like him. He laughs like him, everything. So we're sitting there and we're talking in such a cool person, such a great energy, great vibe. And talking to to Curtis and he, here's someone he didn't even know um, his father or meet his father until I think 20 or so from what I hear. Uh, I'm just getting to know him myself. But like I said, I was in a few hour meeting with him. And one of the things that came up was, you know, what's what's the most important in all the things that you're doing, all the things that he's pursuing. And he's very ambitious like his father and got some really cool things going on. And he's like, being joyful, you know, being joyful throughout the process. And that was really impressive. And humble was the other thing. And I was, that really impressed me coming from him. And I'm sitting there thinking like, Stefan, like, look, you're sitting here with, you know, Dr. Dre's son. Now we're sitting in this meeting with him. And just a few months ago, things were, you know, he's, you know, somewhat desperate or he was in despair. And I'm like, just hang in there. If it's meant, things will manifest. We can, we can, we can do this. We'll get through this. We can get through this. So it was just great to have that own manifestation, to watch it. You know, don't judge the process. Anything that you're going through, every great story has, it's not fun if you just like scale the top of the peak, no problem. And you don't even break a sweat, right? So that's something that I just wanted to share with you guys because it's something that's just happened in the last few days and yeah definitely exciting and and uh important to be joyful in the absence of what you you want right because isn't it fun think about it isn't it fun to pretend imagine visualize drum it up think of children playing you know i think of myself as as a child or i think of my son when he was really little playing with his action figures his imagination was so vivid and he would just play for hours and hours and hours and hours why did he do that not because it's boring it's fun enjoy the journey including the um the drumming up the visualization the imagining the pretending of uh what it is you want to call into your world that's as important as the end result and because really and and it's really important to the whole process the recipe of manifestation because you can have it when you don't need it right so don't put a time limit on it uh don't don't um downplay the whole um you know, the whole journey of visualization part of it and, and imagining and dreaming about that job or that partner or that whatever it is that you're calling in, right? Whatever it is you want to see more of, that's just as fun as, you know, Christmas Eve is as fun as Christmas Day, as I like to always say, right? Maybe more fun. And so with that being said, what I'd like to do, I'd like to play the video that French Fry said all of you guys got to hear. And I love uh, that a listener helped to co-create this episode. And that's why I love to get questions from you guys guys, uh, Brandon at positivehead.com or any suggestions on topics, any of that sort of stuff, or you can just put it in the Facebook group, uh, go through the positivehead.com website, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but, um, this particular clip, uh, according to Abraham, best discussion on manifestation they've ever had as of a couple years ago, at least when it was, um, recorded. It's um, Signs Manifestation is Near, uh, and this is on the Abraham Hicks uh, YouTube page. page. Take a listen. Hello. So I was wondering, in some of your earlier recordings, you talk about going to the workshop, going about my day, seeing things I want, making notes of those things I want, and then bringing it back to my workshop and manifesting. Visualization. Yeah, and then manifesting that in my workshop every day. But then you have the meditation piece, which is like spend 15 minutes meditating, breathing, three breaths, five breaths out. You know, you're always like, you don't need to do too much of it. Too much of it is, a, you know, not a good thing. So what should I be doing? Should I be doing the workshop or should I be doing the meditation? Well, what you described here were step three first and step one. In other words, the meditation is putting yourself in the place of allowing what you've asked for to be realized by you. Because if you're not offering contradictory thought, your vibration will raise and then you will realize then thoughts will come and impulses will come. The visualization is really helpful when you are in alignment with your desire. So it's a really good question and we're going to explain it to you here so you'll know exactly what to do. Let's begin here. Every subject is really two subjects, wanted and absence of what is wanted. And you are in the vicinity of one or the other, usually. When you want something and 
you are in vibrational alignment with what you want then the more detail you give to it the more you think about it the more good feeling thoughts you have about it then the more you practice the vibration that allows it to flow into your experience is what expectancy is expectation is a powerful state of being because it means that what you want and what you believe are in the same place let's clarify positive expectation is that you could negatively expect something too which is what you don't want and what you believe so expectation is really a sort of defining of what your point of attraction is in any moment in time so let's say that you want something and you've wanted it for a while and you're not seeing the evidence of it coming about and you're becoming discouraged because you're noticing the absence of it more than you're noticing the presence of it well under those conditions we would not encourage you to go to a workshop and try to imagine it because you've already got contradictory energy going on so any thought you think about it is going to add to the it isn't working more than it's going to add to the it is working so if you want something that you doubt meditation is a better tool for you because in the absence of thought your vibration will raise but let's say you want something you've been wanting it for a while and you've been tuned in you're feeling good and an idea occurs to you when that idea occurs to you we would milk it for all it's worth in other words when you get that idea and you say I've got a great idea we would sit we would sketch it we would draw it we would think about it we would even talk about it with others we would get the energy of that moving so what we're really talking about is momentum you got to know in which direction the momentum is going if the momentum is going toward what you want then be more descriptive if the momentum is going away from what you want then shut it down take a nap go to sleep meditate clear clear that's a great question because I'm about to buy a vehicle and I've been thinking about this vehicle I sit on the rowing machine at the gym every day and I visualize actualize and it's this close I can taste it but the money's not there in the bank so I think I pinched myself off I'm in the momentum is it okay to expect that that's gonna take care yes. of itself yes it is in fact that is the exact thing to do but let's talk about this for a minute when you want something that you do not believe that you have the means to what does that feel like it feels like discouragement it feels like tension it feels like stress so if you keep being on your rowing machine and you keep thinking about it and the stress gets bigger then what you're doing is not helping it would be better for you to sort of back off from it a little bit but this is the piece that we really want you to hear oh we so want you to hear this because everything that everyone wants no matter what it is a material object or a state of being or a pile of money or a relationship a circumstance or an event everything that everybody wants is because they believe they would feel better in the having of it so we don't want the full manifestation of that vehicle to be necessary in order for you to feel good now we know when you get it you're going to really feel happy but we want that happiness to just feel like the next logical step not bouncing off the wall or oh, a miracle has happened can you feel what we're getting at mm -hmm. so do you believe that what we said about sifting and sorting you said you've been thinking about this for a long while every time you drive a vehicle that doesn't please you you launch part of one that does every time something is not wanted what is wanted goes into this vibrational reality so do you believe that there is a vibrational version already in existence you and that new vehicle already in existence not very satisfying because you can't drive it yet but do you accept that there is a vibrational reality already there absolutely so since you accept that there is a vibrational reality already there then a source is there with you with it in other words it's a vibrational reality that already exists and source is calling you on this path of least resistance to the full realization of it so 
what's the first thing that's going to happen ideas about it your clarification about it the emotion about it and when that emotion that you feel about it feels exciting when it is exhilarating to you to think about it that means that the manifestation is well underway because it's a very short distance from that vibrational state of being where you're joyful even in the absence of it it feels in almost immediately under those conditions but most people don't allow themselves to be in that joyful state unless it has already happened in other words, they want to see it before they feel like this so that brings us to the most important discussion that we will ever have with any of you which is unconditional joy unconditional positive expectation unconditional the vehicle isn't there yet but the joy about it is because when the joy about something is there it has to morph into the full realization of it it is illogical it cannot not be but you can't be discouraged and go there you can't be disappointed and get there you see what we're talking about mm -hmm. you got to find the vibration first now we know there are so many things that you do relative to your action and so it feels like well if I could just work more if I could just make more money if I could just find some way and yes we're not saying that all of those things won't be part of the process that will bring you to what you're wanting we're just saying you can't get there from discouragement but you can get there from joy so the answer to your question is if it turns you on and lights you up to think about it then do all of that that you can but do it for the lighting up not because you need the vehicle that's the piece that we so much want you to hear if you're imagining it and feeling good that's success but so often you say you have this ulterior motive okay I'll do that so that I can get that and if that's the motive then since you haven't got that then this gets old but if you're doing this if you're finding the thought of it because it thrills you to find the thought of it if it feels good to think about it I'm afraid it's giving me more joy thinking about it than actually doing it well here's the thing if something is giving you joy it's coming but if you're afraid it's not so we don't believe that you're afraid of it coming and we don't believe that you are really afraid that well we see what you mean <laughs> sometimes you do think that you think oh Abraham you don't really mean to lead me to my vehicle you just want to lead me to happiness that's so tricky <laughs> and we say yeah because when you get to happiness all the manifestations that represent that have to flow into your experience but if you need the manifestation to get to happy that's a conditional love that's backwards and that's what slows you down you got that didn't you so don't think about it so much don't think about it so much don't think about it so much just think about it when it occurs to you because if you let it occur to you it's occurring to you in your state of alignment and in your state of alignment there's a progression that's happening so this goes to your first question don't try so hard don't try to script it into being just allow it into being can you feel the difference can you feel the difference between demanding it and just allowing it don't try so hard so don't overthink it just let it only let it come when I feel it care about how you feel care about how you feel mostly when you say I'm almost afraid so that little feeling of discomfort that sometimes comes is mild but you can morph that or shift that by remembering how nimble it is by remembering how robust it is by remembering how solid it is by remembering how secure it is by remembering how good it feels by thinking about how it smells so now you're really scripting now you're seeing yourself in it now you're really feeling it now that's really positive strong momentum in other words a conversation like this took you away from the idea and the emotion into something 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 so when does a thought turn to a thing when does that happen when you feel it but we know you've got to be wondering Abraham how long do I got to do this crap <laughs> and we say really this that feels so good you're putting a time limit on it 
because if you're putting a time limit on how long you got to do this before you get to this, then you're not really doing this the way we're encouraging you to do this. Can you feel what we're talking about? If we can convince you that getting yourself feeling this will lead so swiftly to that, but you got to find a way to this and almost no one really finds their way to that because this is shrouded in doubt and timetables and how long and sacrifices. So you got to get purely to this and we get purely to this as you really did in this discussion, then it's very quick, very quick. You run into somebody who's got one. You run into somebody that's got one that doesn't have one. <laughs> as you are co-creating with one another, you have no idea the readiness that others have to play with you because in most cases you don't get here and you don't stay there long enough to allow those things to happen. Ooh, it's so fun when you come to understand the power of your alignment. So life caused you to create a vibrational reality, a vibrational reality that is so real that it's realer it's bigger it's better it's fuller than the reality that you're living and it's current tense you got to find a way to feel it to know it and then it's going to manifest hmm. so let's look at this in another way we'll be very brief about this after the fact after a manifestation occurs it's easier to trace your steps back to the way you felt are there things in your life that have manifested and you realize that you were doing that and that's what brought that about so spend time thinking about those things make lists of things that you appreciate that have already manifested it's an odd conversation we're having here because on the one hand we don't want you to want manifestations because they hang you up. But on the other hand, we want you to find alignment, which means the manifestations will be inevitable. On the one hand, you are spirit in physical bodies. On the other hand, you've come into this environment to manifest materially. That's why you're in this leading edge environment. It's supposed to manifest into these wonderful material things. You see, we just want you to discover the unconditional alignment that feels so good so some are afraid that they'll find that unconditional alignment and that the things won't matter and they don't want the things to not matter because they want the things and we say don't worry about it you're not ever going to get here without getting here it's not one or the other but if you try to get here before you get here it slows it way down and then you get discouraged and then you doubt yourself you doubt the process you doubt your worthiness you doubt instead of believe this was the best discussion on manifestation we've ever had really good time for a segment of the session I love how Abraham just points these things out that are so like, there's so many like moments with listening to Abraham. And it's probably why I share, you know, Esther Hicks more than any other teacher, because there's so many of those moments of, you know, wow, light bulb, light bulb, the way she just puts things, they put things into words. You know, every subject is two things, uh, the wanted or the absence of what, you know, what is wanted. And uh, you're always seeking or talking about what you're seeking it's we are um we are beings of desire right we're here to desire and i don't think desire is a, is a negative thing in the right context it's when it gets i need it to happen to be happy it's okay to have those desires but then release them release the expectation is uh you know if you have a negative expectation like i have to have it once again it's okay to have a positive expectation but just finding that healthy balance you know um as she says here, expectation is defining of what your point of attraction is in any moment. So be very cognizant of that. Be very aware of that. And if it's one that is, um, if it's not a good expectation, let's find a way to downplay it, to release it, to, you know, go meditate, go take a nap, whatever. If you're, if you're sort of, uh, if you're rolling in a, in a, the train's rolling in the wrong direction, backwards on the tracks, right? Um, 
And just that's why she says, you know, meditation in the absence of thought, your vibration automatically raises. It's like, you know, you automatically, uh, like a bobber, you can push it down, but as soon as you let it go, it's going to rise back through the water to the top or the same way. And if you have a good idea, then it's okay to bask in it. Really milk it for all you can. Drum up as much of it as you can. Take a moment. Really relish in it. And, you, you know, you notice uh, which direction the momentum is going. You know, and she talks to this guy who's talking about one his car. He's like, do you accept there's a vibrational reality already there? And the way she usually will put it is like anything you can think of, it's already existing, you know, in, in the timeless state of the eternal now. It's like source. If you can dream it up, you can imagine a source would definitely experience it and play that out. And all the things you can imagine, right? It is infinite what you come from. So your job becomes uh, first to know there's a vibrational reality already there and and you can always get there from joy. Um, do it, though, for the... This is such a key, key differentiation she makes here. Do it for the lighting up, not for the, the vehicle itself. Do it for the, the, the... Just like I was saying earlier, the visualization, the, um, the, the imagination, the fun of, of lighting up and feeling you know, what it feels like is just as fun as actually getting the vehicle. So don't get caught up on the end goal. It's get caught up on the joy of the journey. And if it's giving you joy, it's coming. If you're afraid, it's not. And, you know, as she says, if, if you need the manifestation to get to happy, that's a conditional love that's backwards and it's always slowing you down. So once again, become aware. The job is to become aware. What direction is my momentum going and adjust and be aware. Don't let these things continue to just drive your train uh, and you're asleep at the wheel. Be Start becoming aware. Which direction is my momentum at this moment? And I like how she also says here, don't think about it as much. Um, don't try and force it. Don't try and script it, right? Uh, don't script it into being. Allow it into being. Don't think about it so much. Just think about it when it occurs to you because that's when your alignment. So once again, getting in the flow, letting it just kind of come through you. We're not forcing anything here. We don't need to force anything here. We don't really need anything. We're eternal beings that have always been and always will be. Change is guaranteed. If we don't like something, relax. You don't need anything anything. You are self-sufficient. It's all within you. All the love, all the peace, all the joy, all of it. It's just there waiting for you to just just uh, align with that particular flavor, right? That particular channel, that particular vibration. You're just a tuning. You're a tuning forks, right? And it's so fun when you understand this, as she says, this is this power of your alignment. And she, you know, once again, unconditional alignment always leads to the things you want. And, and, and let me add on to that, you know, and it may not appear the way you think. It's like you may be thinking, uh, I want this particular um, car. Let's use the same example. But there's one you haven't seen yet that's even better, right? So it may, it's always going to be that or something better, whatever it is you want. Or what's the underlying feeling that would come with the having of the thing? It may appear in a form of a pogo stick and you didn't know how much you wanted to pogo stick to and from work every day until you met someone who happened to be a pogo stick expert who let you try it out and you're like oh my gosh I'm hooked screw the car I want a pogo stick from here on out and there you go what's the underlying joy you wanted to get to work in style so yeah pogo sticks are cool right <laughs> All right, guys, I love you all. As always, this has been truly my pleasure. Uh, until next time, I do have a track to leave you with that uh, I heard in yoga this morning, and I played Yaima before uh, the song Our Story in the Past, which I love. And this one I heard, and I'm like, oh, in yoga, I'm like, I, I, I know this song, I know this song. So I went up to the instructor afterwards, Kayleen, I'm like, who was that? Who was that? And, and then it I, you know, instantly hit me, oh, yeah, Yaima, who I've seen and everything before at a uh, festival. Uh, I can't remember which one, but uh, such an amazing artist. This track is pellucidity and uh, hope you guys enjoyed as much as i do until next time journey well love you all also if you're craving more consciousness elevating content be sure to check out gaia which is my personal go-to source for streaming consciousness content on the web where you can stream an incredible 7,000 plus exclusive videos covering 5,000 years of wisdom as you all hear me constantly say, it's a daily conscious effort to maintain an elevated vibration. And if you're looking to journey deep down the rabbit hole to do so, then Gaia is the best place I know of to do it, period. And you can sign up for your first month for only 99 cents at Gaia.com forward slash positive head.
That's spelled G-A-I-A dot com forward slash positive head. Check it out.